what it is, man. This is the green room. ED and Mr. Gemini on the mic in a warm up to a show about nothing. <laughs> I got to push a button. All right, here we are. Uh, welcome to the green room. Uh, the warm up to the show about everything. I got to fix gotta, my mic, and that's you just what turn we, it up. There you yeah, go. You turn it up. Why well, you? You already are turned up. So, <laughs> what? You're you're all the way up. I'm cranked. You can't. You can't. Can't pull over any further. I was gonna say you can't. You can't go. You can't. So it's, it's all the way up. Is this thing on? So yeah, we're working. <laughs> we're good. All right. I don't know what. Don't look at me like that, dude. This is you, this is your ship, bro. Ship. It's my ship with a P. My ship. I was with a P. All right. There was no swearing there. I'm gonna try and sail away. Steer us somehow. Well, dude. I mean, um, so yeah, yeah. Um, the warm up to the show about everything. <laughs> with uh, Mr. Gemini. Fully D. Cookity clack effect. Check him as JD. And as usual, uh, we just hit record and just run with it. You hit record this time. This is where I got to hit record. That was very different from any other time. Especially now since our table is too big for me to reach said button. Well, I did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I thought you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just actually how it worked so. out. Well, it's just, you know, it's an octagon. We need a rectangle. That's all right. Next table will be a rectangle. The Knights of the Octagon table just doesn't. I mean. Or as my mom would say, octangular. Oct- isn't oct- that, doesn't that deal with your eyes? It's octangular. <laughs> I, does it? <laughs> no. <laughs> You've got octangulosis. Well, Woo! You should- I don't even know what that means. What? Well, because ocular is with your eyes. So that's oh, what I was. oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a, it's a non-word. Yeah. Count ocular. It's like a, I want to see your blood. It's like a descriptive word for an octagon would be it's it's octangular. Oh, I thought that was uh, the death ring for like MMA. Well, doesn't doesn't that mean eight angles? Octangular. Correct. <laughs> right. So <laughs> technically, it's not wrong. Just not common uh, usage, that's all. I mean, no, just, I don't use that word. Just like me. Technically, I'm not wrong. I'm just not common usage. You are a lot of left, though. Technically, a spider would be an octangular because they have eight eyes. <laughs> I don't know if I can count that. This is like, uh, it's like nine and a half on that. I'm not fully committed. I'm going to join an oct cult. An ox cold. <laughs> Is that like I'm not like an ox moron? We're the eight sided people. The eight sided people. I don't even know what that means. I have. I literally have. Uh, no I don't idea know, what but I got. I got to write a manifesto. I got to do for that. for an eight person grouping. No, no count- is it a person with eight angles? A person. I don't, with know. Eight I don't know how that works. I'm going to figure that out. Can count ocula be a tarantula? Count ocula. I mean, but I guess that kind of works. Because, I mean, spiders are seemed as, like, the scary things, like a bat. Well, they have count, fangs. Count ocula. Because they that'd have be like, That'd be like count of the eyeball. Wouldn't it be count ocula or octula? That's hard to pronounce. Well, I mean, in Scrubs, they had Dr. Acula, which if you take out the period and put it together, it just says Dracula. Dracula. That's interesting. That's so clever. It's Very not fun. clever. Not really. No, that's why it's funny. Is it? Yeah. That's the joke. Is it because they use it multiple times? Do they do. They do. They, so it it's truly a, is the again. It's not the original joke, but it's the again that makes it I don't funny. know. I would say the original joke was funny on its own. The continuous jokes making it a running joke continued the, the humor from that aspect. So they're separate humors, same joke. So he's a real vampire, huh? Apparently. He just... He comes in and just sucks the room dry. Well, but he's also a doctor, which is, I guess, how he gets. So he likes to draw a lot of blood. Pretty much. To run tests. Well, yeah, no, that's literally, that's one of the jokes. 
He's like, oh, we're going to have to take another culture. I'm going to need some more blood. Ah! He like turns around and he's got fangs and shit. And that's when it like the movie ends and it says, Dr. Acula, and then the period drops out and it squishes together and you're like, oh my God, it smells Dracula. Yeah, that's funny. What it- I'm being handed a joke. I'm being handed a joke. I mean, dude, there's so much to be said about that right there. Wait. Other words for octangular. What's <laughs> octangular synonyms? Octagonal, octagon, octahedral, Oct- octon. Oct- are- excuse me? <laughs> Dr. Octon. <laughs> octangular, oct. What? Octatic? It's not so easy to pronounce. Octagon. Erect. That is especially when you're on. <laughs> like you gotta, Wow. And when you're on the spot, you got to. Some interesting pigeons there. I'll say from here, all I saw was birds. It's birds. There's some <laughs> birds talking. And you're all talking about like eights and shit. I'm it's like, all, what does a fucking bird got to do with eight? Eight is great. I get that. But what does a bird have to do with eight? Everything. <laughs> if I have to explain it to you. Oh no, that's <laughs> fucked up. That's fucked up. I mean, there's probably a little bit of truth. Well, to you that. don't know. What do you mean you don't Dude, know? Dude, everybody knows. Don't you know that the bird is the word? <laughs> well, everybody knows that the bird is the word. Yeah, it's octangular. No, that that's no, that's not the <laughs> octahedral. <laughs> Every time I hear that song now, I'm gonna think of octangular. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do here. What? Reverse association. So we just create, create memories, conditioning memories into your brain. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. So that when you hear a certain song, you'll just think of us and our silliness. Or you see something that's eight-sided, like a stop sign, which you're bound to see every time you leave the house, I would assume. Depends on which way you're going and or driving. Unless you're just, you live in the middle of nowhere too. Because What if you're walking and you're just going through fields? See, that's what I was saying. Kind of weird to see a stop sign, but maybe you'd see an eight-sided stone. I don't know. See, now we're reaching. Jeez. You never know. It's modern <laughs> society, all things, all kinds of things could happen you wouldn't expect. Like if a tree fell in the woods, would I hear it? Depends on how close you are. Yeah, really it did. <laughs> or how well my hearing There's is. There's a lot of variables you're leaving out there. Yeah, what if I just had an ear infection that week? I'm still a little like. But so if you didn't hear it, did it not happen? Is that what you're? I don't know. Is that it actually didn't happen? I don't know if it fell down or not. I'm not there. Well, did it happen? If it if it doesn't contact human experience, does it actually happen? See, that's a good question. Because I mean, there is a lot to because be there's said. There's plenty of stuff that's not happening in our, you know, in our forefront of our existence that we're aware of. You know, that's that, what I'm saying. There's plenty of things I'm sure that are happening that we're not aware of that. You know, they're still happening. Yeah, there's there's a lot more papers coming out now about how observation modifies perception, data, everything. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's what isn't that? Um, it's become like basic. It's not mainstream science yet, though, because a lot of it's still theory. When you're talking about, um, you know, string theory and all these different. I don't think it's like as fringe as all the other stuff that you would say is fringe. So I wouldn't, I would, yeah, I wouldn't say it's, it's not mainstream yet, but I, I don't think it's fringe at all. It's definitely something that's being looked into. I mean, think about it. If, if, if all things, if all things derive from light, which is a cool theory I like to play with, because that was, um, I can't think of his name. That was, You know, the polymath. What's his name? Russell. Walter Russell. Oh, right, right, right. That was, that was one of his things. But anyway, so how's everyone doing, man? How you been? <laughs> I feel like it's been, well, I guess it's been a week. Less than. Less than. That's, yes, less than we a also week. Had, it'll be a week tomorrow. We had our consult. We sat down with a consultant. That's right. About our show, about what we can do to, to do better, be better. Grow more, get this out to people, and like. Which I think the big takeaway was we're not even ready for a consultant yet. I think that was <laughs> we're not ready for him as a consultant yet. But uh, which was very kind of him to say, give us some homework. That's for sure. Yeah, and it's already made a difference. I mean, we're already growing. It's awesome, awesome sauce. Yeah, because we really haven't started we're growing to... in, a, in a different 
vein now. It's a different, yeah. While also still like utilizing our our other platforms and starting to get more cross promotion and stuff like that. So we're getting multiple platforms with less work, which is really dope. So by the time this is getting broadcast, you will most definitely have a possibility of listening to us on, I don't know, that links us to a whole bunch of different Well, you know, currently, yeah. Podcasts. Well, so Green Room's still going to be on YouTube because that's like back content. You know, it's behind the scenes stuff, which is what this is here. So you're going to have to find us on YouTube for this one. But the... So what what I'm doing is for YouTube is going to be all 100% behind the scenes, unedited, uncut, as well as I want to eventually get us adding in the video of all of our conversations. But again, that'll be set back to the, to the well, YouTube. The, the real show is supposed to be uncut too. Well, so what I'm doing podcast wise, because I have to pump us out for... Uh, DIM, I have to make a modified set that's, you know, 58 minutes, 15 seconds. So I wind up going in and cutting out all the ums and ahs and the stupid stuff, you know, and then... Which to me isn't really, I mean, you're you're taking out meaningless... Yeah, basically, yeah, I'm not modifying the conversation. I'm just shortening it so that it can air on an appropriate, you know, time frame. But because I have to make that that much, you know, that kind of an audio quality file that's also very regimented at the same amount of time of like 58 minutes and like, you know, 10, 15 seconds. I figured that was the easiest to just go ahead and pump that well, out as not, well. And, yeah, you're not removing any content. But yeah, then and then when you want to broadcast it, you obviously, you could just leave the original in there. Well, that's, again, that's what the YouTube is because then it's 100% uncut, you know, so if we do... We go two hours, it doesn't matter. Like Yeah, exactly. There, there'll be no segmenting of it, which I think is great because, you know, if we ever do run long on something, then, you know, I, I can either chop it down or whatever else, but then we still have, you know, YouTube for, for pumping it all out 100% on cut. Like all our practice runs of its puppets, bro. Do any, yeah, I mean, any and all that. I, I would say that would be the, you know, the behind the scenes look at all the stuff that we do. You know, so all the other platforms are going to be for for just pumping out, you know, the conversation, like we say, you know, getting, putting, putting that example out there and getting people to start their own conversations. You know, that stuff's going to be free for everybody and readily available. So, hmm. but yeah, if you want all that side stuff, you got to come here. Yeah. If you want, if you want, it's puppets, bro, though, that's coming. That's definitely coming. Dude, these stories, man, they're just, they're just flying around in my head. Like, I'll just be thinking about it during the day. I'm like, wow, I wonder what they'd be doing in this episode. Well, see, when that's the thing, though, is then we need to start taking that stuff, writing it down. That's why I was like, you know, what's the order of putting shit together? Because then we need to start setting the goals of defining what the scene is, what it looks like, what the, you know, script is, you know, so what, what all the lines are going to be and you know all that stuff like we got to actually put that together so that we can have a plan so we can put it into production i like the idea of doing it all as an outline and just letting the dialogue flow based on where you want the story to go because i think i think that would be more interesting but you can do ad lib sections like that too but you still need to outline what that's going to be like like an outline like your your conversation would be more like an outline you know you talk about this for a minute then you talk about that and then you know yeah but with puppets but with puppets, bro. It's puppets, bro. Or I like rehashing some of the stuff we just talk about, just putting it on puppets. I mean, because what's that? You know, maybe it's taking funny bits and just the puppet versions of us or having conversations about us as actual. Well, like the JRE cartoons. You ever watch those? Ah, uh, like one or two. It just it didn't catch my attention. It is kind of funny. But I mean, you know, like that's the thing is then we could be doing commentary as us as puppets about us as. Did you did you watch the, the uh, ti- ti- was it tiger farts with uh, was it um, what am I saying Mike Tyson, the Mike Tyson interview where he's talking about tiger farts? I think I saw the Tyson interview, but yeah, you didn't see the they turned that into a cartoon bit. Yeah, that's what I assumed you were going, but I, yeah, I've not seen the cartoon. That was, of that. It was pretty funny. Sorry, go on. No, that was pretty much it. Oh, okay. Because then it would just it'd be puppets of us making fun of us, which, I mean, technically, 
we're also puppets, but... Well, and don't forget the two puppets that are watching it on TV. <laughs> well, that, yeah, we got to get them in there too. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like maybe those are... That was your intro bit, right? Yeah, but maybe those are us. Like the old guys up in the stands in the... Well, kind of, but not really. That's why I was like, I can see it more as like you and I as like those two. Yeah, but two. what's the name of it? Yeah, that one. Well, yeah, but I can see that being like puppet versions of us <laughs> talking shit on ourselves for the show and like... That's the one that's got to be like cheesy sock puppets. Dude, it just, it makes it funny. I'm just saying. Like, I, the cheesier, the better. I mean, <laughs> we're talking about us here, bro. Mystery like, science this, theater style. Yeah, me, even, I mean, yeah, about. fucking gumball machine. Like, who gives a right? shit? Yeah, dude, fuck it. Make that shit silly. Silly, I tell you. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, like. Oh, my gosh. I think that's, you know, the more outlandish, the better. The more, you know, C-rated. Like, we're not even B-rated. We're below that. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're, like, using used aluminum foil to make shit. And so you can see, like, the pizza stains on it and stuff. <laughs> but that's what you were saying about um, what you do to a movie, like the the short movies, the oh, the swaz it, the, to swaz it, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Because then you could, you're talking like Ghostbusters in eight minutes. I can do that shit, but it's puppets, bro. It's puppets, bro. Right, and it's Ghostbusters done in eight minutes. That'd be fucking amazing. I mean, think about how many freaking hits that shit would get. I'm telling you, bro. Telling Obviously, you. you'd have to you'd have to take out some of the really complicated, you know, special effects stuff. But no, you just make it super fucking cheesy. <laughs> Use like you know glitter tassels that should be on the end of like a, a bike handlebar or something, and like just blow the wind up through it. And it's just like, and that's like there's your you know your freaking proton accelerator. It's not a ghost. It's just like a sheet hanging in front of a fan. Dude, I know. it's like <laughs> one of us that's just like, whoa, I'm a ghost. <laughs> Uh, don't tase me, bro. <laughs> I would, I would laugh at that. That's what I'm, I'm saying, dude. At that. I'm telling you, this is, this is, it's puppets, bro. I can see that. I can see it coming together. That's what it's, we have. It's puppets, bro. It is a thing. I assure you. It will be. No, it is. It's already, it's already in existence. We just have to. Oh, it's in the multiverse already. We got to pull it yeah, over to yeah. our, to or our we have line. to go into that universe or, you know, somehow or another, we've got, we got a Fox together. We're, we're already viewing through that universe, apparently, because this this is in existence somewhere right now. But that's what I'm saying. So, like, that's why I'm like, I really believe in the whole video like game, like all sitcom style. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's why like, I love like Bill, and Bill and Christian just hanging out. And then no, no lady. You mean like an actuality, or is tea. like the two guys that play Bill and Christian, and they're like on the set? And they're like bullshit with each other. And it's like actually reverse where like the guy who plays Christian is like super perverted and the guy who plays Buffalo Bill is like super Christian. Mm -hmm. Now that's a good backstory right there. What about the Brit lady? She's actually from Australia. But she's actually <laughs> she's like Scottish. She's like she's Scottish. <laughs> she's like an ex hooker. You in real life or like I mean what are we talking about? Like yeah, in, like I'm just saying like, like in Grandma's when boy you do that, when you do that when the, he freaking meets the one chick and she's just like yeah I'm pretty sure uh, I I gave a hand job to fucking what's his name Charlie Chaplin or some shit or and didn't he do all those silent movies he wasn't silent with me <laughs> like oh you're real dirty she was I mean in the movie I don't like not in real life that's what I'm saying. <laughs> No, but dude, I don't know. That'd be kind of all about tea. Would you like some tea? I mean, if she looks like that chick from actual Saving Grace, I don't know if I want. If I mean, I, now, does, <laughs> but at one point, I was lovely. <laughs> I have a hard time believing that with her. I'm just saying. Don't come off it. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to. I want to go over there. Not that bloody attractive yourself, <laughs> dude. I got a face for radio. I'm aware of this shit. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Gotta settle down on the voice for that one and really figure that one out, though. <clears throat> I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's pubs, bro. I can. I just. <laughs> I can do that. Did you? You have to think about that. I, yeah, I did. I did. But it's, I mean, it, it's it's in existence already. But. 
that's the weird thing about it. It's in existence because we thought it up at another timeline, right? Or it was already in existence and we've merely perceived it. From the ether. Yeah, like somebody else thought of it. Like maybe it's Puppets Bro, the entity thought itself up and we just perceived that. I didn't know you came to the ether, man. (laughs) (laughs) I don't don't, know. You don't know where to go with that? I don't know. I can neither confirm nor deny that at this point in time. <laughs> oh. Well, welcome to the green room, everybody. I'm pretty sure we've already been here. This is no longer welcome. Oh. They're they're here and sitting down, hopefully still. <laughs> I don't think it's too much of a stretch imagining me as a puppet since I already feel like I am. <laughs> I was going to... Wow. Didn't give me the chance. Dick. I give you the satisfaction. You know I live for this shit. Would you like some tea? No, I wanted to make fun of you, but you beat me too. That's fucked up, bro. I thought I thought you liked me. <clears throat> I don't like spam. Yeah, well, that, oh, <laughs> you call me spam? Is that what it is? That's fighting words. Spam, spam, spam. Do you slice processed alien meat? <clears throat> what? That's what it means, right? That's not a thing. Too much there. All the it's messages you get on your mobile phone. Dude, you know? I don't have a mobile Spum. phone. Spam. Oh, God. Spam detected. <sighs> spum, I don't, spam, spam. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I do need to sit down. I don't like spam. <laughs> this is going to be the spum, all spam, spam hour. Spam, is that, spam, spam, spam. It could be. Is, I that, don't is know. that all you got? Is that's, this, that's it. That's all I got. Give me a comfy chair and some spam. Now you're going in a comfy chair. And then I can get a Dude, that's torture. candid photography. A. Maybe a penguin on top of a television. It might explode. Uh, that's when you're going to need the uh, frog with some crunchy bones in it. That's, that is true. <laughs> that will happen. Sit on my face and tell me that you oh. love me. <laughs> I, lo- I love to hear you immortalize. When I'm between your thighs. You blow me away. <laughs> Is that is that what we're anybody know this one? No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Before. That's why we get all this stuff at now. This like we're getting the sillies out, right? Dude, unless we get tequila and or double noodles with or without homemade chocolate chip cookies. Noodles. Did you, no noodles. No noodle. You had the noodle dream? <laughs> I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> You had the noodle dream. Was he all he tell him to take the steam buns? They're about to turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Dad. <laughs> I love Kung Fu Panda, man. I love Dude, him. I mean Mas- Yo, Jack Black. I'm just saying, man. He's become like a household name. I mean, he's been he's been around since Airborne, bro. We were checking that shit back in the day, right? Yeah, with Airborne. When he was the fucking goalie. For real, that's going way back. Well, he wasn't the goalie. I think he was like one of the forwards or something. But you know what I'm talking about, He was the about, fucking, though. or a defender, he was the brawn. What? The 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 two-man band. What, Tenacious D? Hell yeah. Dude, before that shit. No, that was before that shit, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah, Tenacious D was on HBO, I think. Was it like HBO two, or Shows? One of those. I think it was HBO, and it was like two seasons. Or like two half seasons or something. I don't know. It wasn't on long, but I mean, it was decent. It wasn't like holy fuck, that's hilarious. But it's there's so a couple sketches because, that were just like holy fuck. Like Jack Black always hams it up, but he's actually got a decent voice. He does. That's what's so weird. Like when he gets when he so gets weird. riffing, it's so weird because it's like it's his comedy stylings, but like he's actually got a decent voice. Well, like yeah, he can and, mimic. Like all the old rock singers from back in the day. like Yeah, and Kyle, I think, has been formally trained on a few instruments in a couple of schools. So like he's actually- like Juilliard type shit. Like. Something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's, he's actually very well educated in music. I mean, I think they both I are, but I think about Kyle like, is like very- Like classical experience. More or less, yeah. but like very, very formal education. Um, I mean, scales, Yo, multiple instruments. Classical guitar, like, forget about it. That's- that's no joke. I mean, that ain't no bar chords. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but I mean, I think you can tell that from wait a minute from Jack. how they play and 
Jack Black was in the Never Ending Story three. I don't think anybody ever saw that one. I don't think anybody ever watched that. Maybe I didn't even know there was a three. The producers, maybe, maybe the actors may, you might have watched that one. But I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, you gotta. That's not really an impressive thing to say. If it was the first one, then I yeah, I'll lift it up. Because you just keep that. you keep backing yourself keep, away, and it. All right, yo. You got away from me. Are we good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went. I went back. Doing a visual joke now. It's no good. I went back, and then when I came up, you were gone. You got away from it's me. The, you you don't understand the concept. It's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no, ain't no cameras in here, baby. I ain't no dumbbells in this room. Just my balls. <laughs> and I want to dip them in something. I want to dip my balls in it. Jesus of Nazareth, we have a warrant for the Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, yeah, he went that way. Saw him something about putting his balls in it. I don't know. That was one of another state sketches. That shit was hilarious. That was it, like it was an ongoing thing, right? Well, that was, was that no, that, that was that that was their interpretation of how uh Ju- um Judas really did in Jesus. Because Judas was hanging out still at the the Last Supper, and he's like all pissed off about shit. And then these guys come in to like warrant for for Jesus, he was like, "Oh yeah, he went. He went that way." Some of saying something about dipping his balls in it because it was actually like Jesus who said that, <laughs> but he blamed the 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 ball dipper guy because you know that was like Judas's friend or whatever. So that's like the real story. It's like they got it wrong, man. Judas didn't do it. Jesus, it was backwards. But yeah, the state gotta love those guys. I do not remember that part. Yeah, that was like the very end of that sketch. Because that was the thing. I was like the ball dip guy. I want to say it was like there was like four or five different. Speaking of Monty Python, do you remember Life of Brian? I mean, it's been a while, but. Crucifixion. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, I don't know. was like, no, 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 release me. He's like, no, no. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. No, crucifixion. It was crucifixion. It was crazy. Yeah, it's been a while. It's a guy standing there with a clipboard like crucifixion. Yes, crucifixion. Crucifixion. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. I, I, what honestly, do you do with that? You take it, you shine it up, you polish it. I was say you put your right foot in, and then you, you put your right foot out. But there's but then you put your right foot in somewhere in there. I think. Well, you want to shake it all about. All about. Now, yeah. could you define all about? Is that well, like? It's it's everywhere. Not just in one direction, but it's all, all it's everywhere. Somehow, all of it in all directions. Some, a little, a lot, all right. All right. everything. It's all of it. I'm gonna work on that. It's all together, all together now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, shaking it all about. Yeah, that's, well, that's how you bring the boys to the yard. Is <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, see, that's where you're getting confused. That's where you no, no. That's where you roll. But it's still the shake. It's just with milk. This isn't twist and shout. This isn't milkshake. This isn't. It's. Is it who let the dogs out? It, no. <laughs> that is not where we're at right now. Fact the dog not. is safely inside the house <laughs> with the milkshake and the boys in the yard. Fuck the. I don't know what's up with the boys in the yard. I'm. <laughs> I'm not really worried about that right now. Yo, I don't hang out with those guys. But everyone else is in bed. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you don't even know. I do know some stuff occasionally, occasionally. once in a while, every now and again. You know Man Machine Poem? Well, at the moment. I love that name. Like What's bibli- that from? Like biblically. Honestly, I do not recall offhand. I would have to look What's that up. Reference? I would have to look it up. I don't recall offhand. Jesus, I already said it once. I feel like I should know that. I should know the reference. I mean, so I've, should you. Well, I've looked it up before. So I'm saying I can look it up again. The reference of what? Man Machine poem. It's a musical reference. Like musical as in like. <laughs> well, so sometimes a theatrical it's, performance that has lots of singing and dancing or. Sure, that too. <laughs> yes, yeah, this, this is fucking West Side Story over here. <laughs> Man machine. Yeah, let me, uh, I'm pulling the data up now so I can actually tell you exactly where it's from. This is why we got a fact checker in the first place. It's tragically hip. 
Yeah. There you go. I did it. See, this is why we have this information on the Tra- back. So. Tragically Hip is what? A fucking band, bro. And it's just the name of a song? I guess so. Man those- Machine Poem is the 13th studio album by Canadian rock band Tragically Hip. There you go. So it's a studio album. All so right. I'm saying this, so the reference sometimes is like, is what? 2016, it was released before the death of the lead singer. Ooh. I'll have to check that out sometime. Yeah. Well, because I mean, that's the thing is the reference can be lyrics, song title, album, reference to a group within it, or, you know, some somehow or another it's... What about movie references? That's what I feel like we need in beers, movie references. I mean, I'm doing an all movie Monday for I mean, that's why I'm pushing. Evolution. That's why I'm pushing the idea of Johnson's underwear. I'm just saying it, it's got to be a Dude, thing. It's just a great point. fucking name, bro. It has to I be a name, care. right? I mean, especially if you're talking about a dank beer. Do why? I, I, how's that not? That's perfect. How is that not funny, bro? I'm just in saying, what universe is this not a thing? That's what, what I'm saying. What if your dope was on fire? Impossible, sir. It's in Johnson's underwear. Well, because then then it would be wet. Is the extension of that joke? Because because if it was in Johnson's underwear, then it then it's in the beer. So then you, you can't smoke that dope because it's. Because it's wet. It's dank. It is now. <laughs> <laughs> it's also damp. Oh, it's really I gotta, really gotta, I gotta work on dialing that in though. Like I want it to be like if you spill some of that beer in your room. Like, oh my you, god, why does it smell like Johnson's underwear in here? Even if you're over 21, somebody's gonna come in and be like, dude, did you spill bong water in here? <laughs> dude, oh my god, it stinks. <laughs> like, no, bro. <laughs> Maybe if you change the water once in a while. Spilled some of my beer. Yeah, that's. I don't think that's. Maybe that's not a thing. That's even know. worse. I don't know. <laughs> All right, but like, mm, can but I anyway, smell that Johnson's anyway. underwear? It smells like stink ass fucking beer bong water. But yeah, that's not a really good so selling point. But it's so. It's, but Johnson's underwear is so tasty. Once you put it in your mouth, you just want to keep going. <laughs> I just like the idea that people could be at a place ordering that. But that's what I'm saying, dude. It's a dope name. What's well, the same as like Professor Booty? He's like, hey, can I? Let me get around in Johnson's underwear. Let me get some of that booty over there. You know, it's the only time you can actually yell at your waitress, "Hey, I want your booty," and she's like, "Oh yeah, I'll get that right for you," and it's okay. Well, before that, it was Heineken. <laughs> you give me a Heine. <laughs> want to hand me a Heine? Hand me a Heine. Uh, I don't think that's allowed here. That is not this kind of establishment. <laughs> We were actually at a at a at a small bar. What was that in? Uh, I guess Virginia Beach, and the the waitress was actually you couldn't hear anything because the band was playing. And she came over and she wanted to know if we wanted another round, but we were drinking Heineken. She's like, and she pointed at her butt. I'm saying you got to yeah. paint the word picture. Sorry, I did that you for can't, JK. You can't just, yeah, you can't just point but at the fact checker she, and then point at your she, butt because you know. then she's the only one getting the joke. So she mouths to us, yeah, uh, do you want two more? So she put up two fingers and then she pointed at her butt. <laughs> it was hilarious though. Stick it in the butt. And we immediately knew what she was talking about. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. Stick it in the butt. Isn't that isn't No, that I just want another beer, dude. Isn't that how the song goes? Uh, you're, that's how your song goes. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that what are they saying? Stick it in your butt. I ain't nothing. In the- I'm pretty sure isn't that Peter Gabriel? Stick it in your butt. I don't think no. I'm pretty sure that's what it is because he's also talking about shocking the monkey. Peter Gabriel's a sick fuck, bro. Come on, I'm telling you. Well, you, everybody knows what Sledgehammer's about. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's his obsession with Gallagher when he was a kid, bro. Because it's, it's so dramatic, bro. You you don't even know, bro. Is that that's not a thing? You don't even know. He wasn't like, Bro. oh my god, I love Gallagher. Even his brother's good. <laughs> he was talking about plumbing because he was a plumber. And well, you're he's an independent businessman. <laughs> he's you know he's well, you you plumb so you're you I, you're, I guess you're a plumber. <laughs> he, he's, he he plums. <laughs> he plums. Obviously, you plumb. <laughs> Tangent. Do you plumb here often? This is green rumorific right now. 
I mean, it's not like we're talking about like candle wax on the nipples. <laughs> you know, just a couple of horny little teenagers running around in their underwear. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Just normal sex, drugs, rock and roll. You know, no, you know, chips, whips, chains. <laughs> Oh, I mean, we're not talking about candle wax on the nipples. And she actually like, our son. It's Gary. <laughs> Who the hell is this Gary character you keep going on about? <laughs> Al, that was Gary. You know, Gary, our yeah. son. When he's flying by in his Ferrari doing 70. How fast are you going? Oh, like 35? Wait, that's not right. This <laughs> is at the RPM. Dude, that actually happened to me today. My freaking, my speedometer geeked on me. And I'm like cruising down the highway and it's just like, it says I'm doing like 35, 40. And I'm like, no, this, that's not correct. No. Because yeah, I could like look out my window and see all the shits just like. Fruh, 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 fruh. I'm like, mm. ride, it goes a one it's like, I'm pretty sure I'm doing like, I do. I had to have been doing like 60 or 70 or something, but I don't know. I just, I just gauged myself with traffic and it was pretty good. But then. But then when I got to a spot, I just like restarted my car and it, it worked again. I was just like, fucking electronics. It's a great story. Dude, it's fucking hilarious because my needle is actually going with the kilometers. So it said, you know, when the kilometer spot said I was doing like 65, 70, I was like, I believe that. I believe that's that's the appropriate miles per hour. I was like, all right. So apparently my needle has flipped. Power. Well, yeah, because you know, on your speedometer, you get the inside is kilometers and the outside. So if you're reading is, it for kilometers, it made more sense. Yeah, it was actually accurate. It was it was at 65 kilometers per hour. And I'm like, yeah, I feel like I'm doing 60, 65 mile an hour. So it like flipped. It was showing me in KPH what it was doing in miles. So I was like, all right, well, fuck it. See what happens. So your car just decided to play a prank on you? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. That's all I was just like, what the fuck? I was like, did You're something geek you in said, the- Tell me what happened. Well, it's because it's all digital. So if the, for some reason, the needle didn't set right when the computer was going through its initial startup, it could have registered the wrong spot or it could have actually just went to alternate programming and just flipped where it thought miles and kilometers were. So it's just like, I'm now on this side and it registered it incorrectly. Aren't you glad it's not like maximum overdrive? Like, Fuck that shit. Like, could you imagine? Yeah, right. The Joker semi truck coming to eat me. No, nah, we tries good. to kill you while you're in it. No, nah, we good. No, thank you, dude. Why were you driving yourself anyway, Richard Bachman? What Turner oh, Overdrive? Yes, <laughs> Richard Bachman Turner Overdrive. That was the name of it. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you think? Bachman Turner Overdrive is a band. Oh, oh, oh. Richard Bachman is Stephen it. King's alternate right. So wait. Yeah, you yeah. were doing like a puzzle. Yeah, before and after. Yeah, that's what you were doing. I get it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Dude, that's right. Freaking, I played um, Right Now from Van Halen the other night, and it's from their album, For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. So after I like say the name, I was like, oh yeah, F U C K, they're clever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I just thought so that was the funny. Peter Gabriel song is uh, where they change in your eyes to in your ass. No, that's uh, they also do in your, in thighs. your thighs. The light yeah. they eat in your thighs. Yeah, but no, I forget the I name of complete. the actual song because it's uh, but yeah, I always always do. stick it in your butt. Come on, do it. Stick in it in your butt. Yeah, I feel, I'm pretty sure that's a Peter Gabriel song or something. But somebody like that. I don't know. Maybe Casey and the Sunshine Band. I don't fucking know. I have to figure that shit out at some point. My favorite is I love. I feel like I'm pretty sure it's Peter Gabriel or the the other band he was in. My favorite song is I love rock and roll, cock and balls. Oh, <laughs> I would say I love rock and roll. Sorry, uh, my wife used to do that when we were dating. We'd go to karaoke, and she would do that song with like a friend of hers, and they would actually say cock and balls, and they would actually say cock and balls, and see if anybody notices. And you married this classy lady. She's uh, she's very classy. She uh, she is, especially when but she's, that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> Ray Collins Hut Club, stick it in your butt. I don't. I need to hear it though. That's the problem. You know what I mean? Because because maybe I mean maybe that is the lyrics, and I'm just you know I don't know, but that's how I always heard it though. It's like Bingo Jet had a light on. Yeah, no, stick there's, it in wait, your butt. There's a song called "Stick It in Your Butt." How is there not a song called "Stick It in Your Butt"? And then there's another one called Stick It In My Ass by Edward Hewson. 
Dude, I just watched not another teen movie the other night. I was sitting around. I was like, I didn't, you know, I just can't. There was nothing else I wanted to watch. So I was like, fuck it, put on something old. It's like doctors tell you to listen to this when you got to get an enema. Well, no, I don't know, <laughs> but I the scene, the the scene with the uh, the cheerleader when she comes in and she's like, give me an R, give me an R, does all that, and then she goes to finish. She's like, stick it to my pussy, ass like cunt fuck, and they're just like, oh, okay. But then it's like she actually makes the team even after she does that, and she's out performing in front of the, you know, the student body, and she does the same thing. She's like, stick a finger in my ass, pussy ass fucking, and the entire audience comes right back with it, like stick a finger in my ass, stick it. They're just like, yay! <laughs> like that movie is just fucking hilarious. Man. I forgot how good that shit was. You forgot? Well, because dude, they make fun of so many fucking teenage movies. I mean, dude, you're talking about they get like Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, you know, Varsity Blues. I mean, all that shit. There, I think there's like some fucking Goonies references and just, just it's riddled with that shit. Cruel Intentions is in there, like everything. I think it's even like- Old um, school, new school, well, dude, in yeah, between. Exactly, like, can't hardly wait. Like, dude, it's just got all of it in there. As well as, of course, you have the token black guy, which makes it even funnier because he's actually the most intelligent out of all of them. Go figure. But it's just like, dude, the way they set up every joke in it is just fucking like they just they do all of the I mean, you could literally check every box and then additional boxes of how much shit this movie like packs into it because they even do like American Beauty where they got the guy with the freaking bag and the camcorder and like, you know what I mean? Like, dude, they, they literally get like every fucking movie. It's ridiculous. American Pie, like all of it, dude, is just jam packed with jokes. It's like the. The old school where they pulled shit like that. The old, um, I'm trying to think, one of the um, spies like us. Fuck yeah, spies like us. <laughs> right? I mean, like you do Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase, and they just make they make the same thing. They just make fun of everything. Well, yeah, but I mean, so but, a lot more movie reference. What you're talking about, but well, yeah, yeah, because that's literally what they're doing. Is they're just they're making a mockery of every single possible movie they can whether it was an actual teenage movie or not, it's just like, they, they just get everything. I mean, just dude, going for numbers at that point. Well, yeah, frick it was a step it up or whatever. When I step, what's the, um, uh, bring it or whatever, right? The cheerleader bring movie, on. bring it on. There you go. Thank you. See, that's how much I don't fuck. But do they still shit it's from already that? Been brought in. Yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's got all that shit in there. I mean, they even have from varsity blues, the freaking the center, the big fat dude. You know, whatever the, oh, I forget they call him, but dude, he gets like concussions and he's bleeding out his ears and shit. And it's just like, it's just fucking stupid shit, man. But it's awesome. It's awesome. Every one of those jokes is just fucking dope. Like I'm, I'm like 20 minutes in. I was like, dude, I forgot how good this fucking movie was. I was like, dude, I know it was like good, but I was like, dude, this is fucking good. Much greater appreciation for it now. It is literally hot fire and I want some. It's just like if you can capture something like that, it's like you're, you're getting all these really, really good memories and then you're creating a new one at the same time. But like you're pulling from all those old memories of watching all these movies and really enjoying them and you're wrapping that all into a whole new production, which is just like, it's like, pow. Well, yeah, that's you know, why I really like liked- Bringing your brain back to when you were like 10 years old, you know, but yeah, at the same time- In, uh, in Hot Rod where they, they uh, steal a scene from Footloose- Basically, because in Footloose, he goes to the train yard and like, you know, does his angry dance, but he doesn't have a train yard. So instead he's out in the woods, but he still has like the pummel horse scene where he's like, you know, doing the moves over it and all that shit. But then, you know, in Hot Rod, he, you know, because it's funny, he falls down the fucking mountain. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I mean, and just like forever. It's, dude, he literally falls down a mountain for like a minute. Dude, he just literally a minute. Yeah, because you, you're sitting there going through it for like 20 or 30 seconds, and all of a sudden, it's just like you see a scene of a severely slanted downhill forest area, but you're not hearing him scream anymore, so you're just like, oh, okay, it's and then, ah, it's it's back into it. it's done, and then all of a sudden, you, ah, and you just say he comes through like yeah. end over end starfish style, you know, full spread eagle <laughs> doing a cartwheel damn near, but, you know, limp body falling down the mountain, ah, and you just see him like clocking himself a couple more times. And just keeps on going. Was it obvious it was a dummy? 
You know what? I don't know if it really was or not. It, that makes it extra funny when it's obvious it's a dummy. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I agree with you on that. But yeah, no, I think in this one, it was probably more of like, I don't, I don't think they were on like truly as much of a slant as it was. So it was probably somebody who was going down like, you know, a small grade. But because they, the way they set the camera just angle, tumbling and it just looked like you're pretty much like falling off a cliff, but he wasn't. <laughs> Dude, I'm better off dead. Fuck, I just caught that in my head. Better off dead because they had the freaking the bicycle. I want my $2. I want my $2. Dude, that shit was in that movie too. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, not another teen movie was, that's a fucking, that, that was a well done production. That is true. That is, there was a lot of reference. Oh yeah, dude. Plus you get, uh, I mean, Molly Ringwald's in that. Um, What the hell's his name? Paul Gleason, I think, plays uh Richard Vernon. Fucking dick. Yeah, yeah. He's in that shit. Mr. T's in it. Mr. T. Yeah, he plays the wise old janitor because they're they're taken from the movie Rudy, but then they're also taken from the other movie. Uh, what is it, Lucas? The little like, <laughs> right, yeah. right? The the kid that goes on the football field and like gets you know almost murdered basically. Yeah, fucking dude, Charlie Sheen. Right, that's an old ass movie. Remember that shit? Fuck yeah! But that's what I'm saying, dude. Not another teen movie. Like it literally just checks every fucking box you can ever imagine. It is hilarious. And then the jokes they play on it, taking from those movies is like, like fucked up. Like the, like how in Cruel Intentions, they were uh, like stepbrother, stepsister, right? But in not another teen so, movie, uh, they're actually brother and sister, but it's still the same thing. So it's like, now it's gross because it's his actual sister that's just like. I turned this off. Why is my phone lies. off? Lies. Apparently you didn't. Dude, did you not have that side conversation where you tell them where all the other stuff's at? Because you got to turn all that shit off in different spots. Yeah, I don't feel like doing it right now. So, Dude, you were supposed to have done this a week ago. You had Shut homework up. Oh. and you did not do your job is what I'm hearing. Typical. That's what I'm saying. Just typical me. I fly a bit of seat in my pants, man. That's how I do. <laughs> my entire life. I don't even know how I'm here right now. Are you here? Where is here? Do you perceive when me is being now? Because if you don't perceive me be, being here, then it's like I might as well be a tree not falling in the woods. Wait, how many fingers am I holding up? How do I say that? <laughs> a tree not falling in the woods. That's me. But do you? So wait. It was Mr. T. What was Mr. T? In she's trying. To yeah, not the another. Subject. No, no, it was Mr. T. That's what I said. It was Mr. T. He played the wise old janitor. For some reason, I thought you said Mike Tyson. No, Mr. T. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mr. I said my, okay. which I would also be Mr. T. But technically, yeah. It would be I mean, a, yeah, that's so. Uh, I would call him Mr. Tyson. Yes. Yeah, Lord yes, Tyson, Tyson, Sir Tyson, you, whatever you need me to call you. Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm somebody's bitch. Can I get you something? Like anything? Yeah, right. Like would seriously. You, would you like Would you like my shirt that I'm wearing? Do you like this? Do you, do you want this? What about my watch? Can I get you my watch? Do you need, how about shoes? Are you said on You shoes? look uncomfortable. Is there something I could do? Can I fluff? Can I fluff something for you? Is, is there something that I could put in this hand that would be <laughs> what, like like two hundred dollars? <laughs> ah, so you're breaking my arm. <laughs> See what I did there? Ah, oh, good times, man. Hanging in the shower on good times. We're not we're not doing that again. What is a Lucy? <gasps> oh, a single cigarette. What is a one loose cigarette? That's right. That is correct. <laughs> Dude, I'm just, oh man. See, that's, you know, that's another thing. Not another teen movie. As I'm watching it, just like Mel Brooks shit, I'm like looking at it. I'm like, you, you can't make this fucking movie today. That was the uh, Mel Brooks. Like everything he made was like that, bro. But that's what I'm saying. But you, and you can't make that shit no more today. Like even Spaceballs. Spaceballs was very mild. Like that was. Was, that was like a huge studio push. And even that was like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, it was mild, like you said, just like you said, it was mild. And by today's standards, like, there's no way you could get away with doing None half of the shit they did in that. But that's what I'm saying. Like, even not another teen movie, which is only we uh, got him combing the beach, sir. You find anything? We no, didn't find shit. Combing the desert. They weren't on They're the beach. Combing the, combing the desert. Sorry. <laughs> Seventy-three percent of the time. <laughs> Oh, you can love me or whatever. Oh, yeah. 
66 times. I'm just saying. But yeah, no, seriously, dude. Because I mean, that movie's not even that old. Like maybe 20 years. I feel like it was just before, just after 2000, wasn't it? Like maybe 04. I, and this is this is the the time when we could actually laugh at ourselves. But dude, that was 20 like, years ago. No, Spaceballs laugh. was like 88 oh. or something. No, uh, not another teen movie. I think I feel like it was 2001. Okay. Like we can't laugh at I ourselves I was saying like anymore. 04, but that's why I was like somewhere around the 2000s. But still, you're talking like only 20 years old. And even that shit's too risky nowadays. What the f is that about? Or follow me. Birth. Not in here, mister. It's a Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Joan Rivers as the robot. Like, there you come on, man. Like, there's oh, uh, Joan Rivers. Do you, I mean, just all of it, but still, yeah, like. Love me some Joan Rivers. Such a shame. But what is the shame? She's no more. I mean, with the amount of surgery she had, I feel like she's still with us. She's, <laughs> she's in a Petri dish somewhere. I just feel like Walt Disney shit. She's like frozen. We're going to save her for later. <laughs> like the movie Frozen? Or like maybe they uploaded her consciousness to a mainframe and then when they can utilize it, then they'll like actually make movies with her. But like, is that Joan Rivers? God, she looks great. I want to say that's scary, but then again, I think that'd be kind of cool. Dude, there's a movie that was like that. she'd still be breaking stories. You know what I mean? I feel like even, even in the post-apocalyptic afterlife, she'd like still some be some Max Hedrum-style shit. I'm telling you, she'd be ousting some government officials and all kinds of bullshit. Like, Dude, that'd be just, I just caught a whiff of like her as like fucking Max Hedrum on the TV all glitching and shit. But like... I'm just saying, she spoke about she spoke out about some shit, and then suddenly she disappeared. That's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna really say did I don't I didn't I didn't hear this. Oh, you didn't hear about that? I've never heard any of this. No, no. It's like the last public announcement that she made was something about um, the president's wife not actually being female. So then she disappeared. Something happened. There was like I don't know, heart attack. I guess something like that, but. She she murdered she, herself. She, she died shortly after making that announcement. And who's which in which presidents? I, I don't really want to get a thing started because we don't do politics. But well, that's not politics. That's pop culture. That, true. I guess. Yeah. I guess it, that. So yeah. which which um, which Mrs. President is a Mister uh, Obama? Wait, he is or Michelle is? Michelle is not. Like she's so she's like Jamie Lee Curtis, where she was born both, well, but then chose. There's there's a whole thing, and I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. I mean, she but, doesn't. I mean, she doesn't look like a man to me, but who she is, who cares? Like, but oh, but yeah. but basically, there was a statement made where Joan by, Rivers was like, by Joan Rivers, where like she your was, wife's a man. She was like, That's well, no, talking to the general public, saying, how do you not know that his. That his wife, like a man. she, kind of like had a moment of weakness where she just kind of like ousted a whole bunch of shit and then just kind of disappeared into her limo and like that's pretty much the last time she was publicly seen. But is that like the main things? Because she called Michelle she Obama called a dude. Transgender. She said we we all know Michelle Obama is transgender. Let's see, I mean, she. I don't, I don't know. There's, and I'm telling you, if you want to go down that rabbit hole, there's there's footage footage there's footage that's been reviewed. oh my god is this like a whole new conspiracy that i've been you've left never, out you've on never heard about this but bro come on i don't watch tv and shit i don't get into all those I mean, like i don't either but of course you know i have a friend that likes to come over and tell me everything that's going on so <sighs> especially when it pertains to transgender president's wives i i mean just anything just any weird government anything Really? Government anything. Just, Did you hear the government gives out cheese? These things called food stamps. So you're like, can you believe this shit? The what? cheese was that stopped years ago. Dude, they no, they made one batch of that cheese and they've just been using it ever since. <laughs> it actually regrows itself. The cheese was actually really good. Government honestly. cheese was I'm not gonna lie, dude. It government made some, cheese was pretty fucking good. It made some bomb mac, bro. It did and grilled make, cheese. Bro. I'm just saying. You don't even know. You, you, especially when you got to use like hair if iron. You, if like you didn't your, have that stuff, you don't even know. Or clothes iron, hair iron. I'm like, I did the motion right. It made a banging grilled cheese. I'm telling you. It it made some awesome baked mac and cheese. 
Fucking cheesy eggs. All that good shit. Yeah, you could shred it. You could slice it. Whatever you want. You could ride it to school. You know, popcorn, shrimp, it shrimp floated, gumbo. So you could use it base. as a life vest. I don't know about that. I think it sunk like a rock, actually. But It was good for buffing your boots. Give it a nice, greasy shine. No, no, it wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't do that at all. What? Were you not talking about the same thing? Wait, what are we talking government about? Government cheese. What? Government cheese. Government cheese. Wow, you, got, you got some government cheese? Just stand in line for that. Sh- and we just got like a, a half a brick. We get like a, it, cause it came in like a brick. It was like a, a wheel. It wheel. Like a, it was like a five pound brick. Yeah. No, it was just chunks. Like it was just, poof, here's your bro. Here's your brick of cheese. Stay in line for that shit. It's just a, it's a brick of cheese, like wrapped up in some kind of wax paper or something. It's like ODB pulling up to fucking cash his food stamps with his fucking kids <laughs> in a limo. Yeah. That's just funny. That's hilarious. Fucking ODB. I love ODB, man. Some little baby Jesus. For real. <laughs> I, he knew what was going on, and he opened his mouth and see what happened. Same thing. <laughs> Dude, are you so- I'm, Same thing. Do, oh, do your research. Start, are you going to start a list? Bro, do your research. I'm just saying. Make me a list. I'll, I will look into this. Well, just look at ODB now. The, we already looked up the other one for you. You're good. <laughs> no, this is... This is o- ODB like the mouth off about stuff. And- well, yeah, he's ODB. I mean... But that doesn't mean you have to like. No, but I mean not just in his lyrics. Like he would. Were you talk, was you saying Tupac he would and be to Biggie house. now? Is that too, or did they know some shit about Enron? Or I don't. There was a, there was some scheming going on there. I don't know as much about that, but uh, there was something going on there. Yeah, dude, I believe Biggie and there Tupac. There was definitely some political involvement in accidental that whole. Accidental overdrive. I believe that Biggie and Tupac faked their own Wait, deaths. What is this? Said accidental overdose. What for ODB? Uh huh. Yeah, what air quotes accidental? I doubted that. It was under suspicious circumstances. Yeah, redacted. Anyway, yep, redacted. Anyways, do Biggie and Tupac fake their own deaths and they are dope as fuck living on an island together and having the, the good the life. I don't know where. Nobody knows where, except for their staff that fucking lives with them or some shit. No, there's no staff. No, of course no, there's fucking no, that's staff. All they, no, no. What do you think this is? Dude, it's Biggie and Tupac. They got some bitches that'll be serving them some fucking gin and juice or cognac. Dude, even and- Batman couldn't pull that shit off. You're going to fake your death. Like, Alfred can't know. I'm just saying. Dude, Alfred would plan that shit for you. He was the brains oh. behind it. Batman was a recluse, then he was crazy. And, you know, he would just, like, pop out because he's fucking schizophrenic as well and also narcissistic. I'm just saying, there's a lot going on with that guy. Alfred was the one that kept that shit together. Go back and watch. Just like Mona's the boss. I said it. <laughs> no, I mean, I get, I get the Mona's the boss thing, but I'm just... just <laughs> what are you saying about my man? What are you saying about Batman? He's a crazy, narcissistic, sociopathic freak Dude, that thinks the, he's a superhero. Would you be if you just watched your parents die by like one of the biggest crime rings in the, in the freaking city? <laughs> Well, I'm sure shit not going to go start tinkering in my basement and Maybe think you of taking about some bad If you had money, you had access to money you didn't even know what to do with. Maybe you would. Maybe you would do that. Maybe that's exactly what you do. That is not what I would do. <laughs> I would start would... throwing tons of parties, buying Bentleys, Bugattis. Bottomless parties? A little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Is it like Tuesday or Wednesday? You know, hump day or, you know, so it's like topless, bottomless. You so know, Wednesday's a bottomless night. Is that what? Yeah. And then you get naked Sundays, <laughs> you know, just to finish off the week. It's just good. But that's God's day, man. Exactly. That's why, that's why, that's why you got to be you. It's just your birthday suit. That's what I'm saying. All right. I'm with it. I got no pro- What? You pointed shit? Are we almost done? Can you, can you not read upside down? I can. As he turns his head? Pointed shit. That's not, how you, that's not how you read upside down. If you rotate your head, it's no longer upside down. That's not, that's not, that's not how that works. <laughs> no, you're right. That's weird. I actually have to fo- focus. I did- you're not going to hear me argue with you on that one. So, well, thanks for joining us for another green room. <laughs> so he's just like, all right, we got to go. It's like Irish goodbye. But like, all right, parent, we got to go. Bye.
I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta, I gotta pee. pee. Yeah. We love you. Race! Race! Yeah, he's, he's due to come back on. We love Yo, plus we got, we, guests, we got guests for tomorrow. Yes. That's dope. Yeah, that is very dope. It's gonna be hot shit, son. I'm telling you, well, I was telling you that I stopped by after they opened the restaurant and stuff and since he was still running around, like I got to talk to wifey for a bit and, and yo, she's got plenty of, plenty of give and go with the conversation, plenty of wit, charm and intelligence. That's what I'm saying. I mean, j just as much. I mean, I was saying we're going to have to have nothing less from her being with him. We're going to have to have extra money because we got to have both of them on. Like, we oh can't. yeah, no, no, that's a, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the deal. I'm, I, I'm, I'm under the understanding. That's why you got an extra mic. Well, yeah, because I've been talking about getting that fourth set for a while now, but we've never actually needed it. And now we definitely do. Oh, because I'm going I'm to be like, yo, you have to. Because she's on par with us. I'm just you're saying. Gonna, you're going to christen this because, because I got this just for you. So you have to use. So I'm going to like, so I'm gonna, uh, Zach I'm gonna and guilt her into Sarah. it. Sarah. Correct. Yes. Um, Sarah was, was very much the conversationalist when I, when I bumped in. I think it was the, the end of their opening night at the new restaurant. Well, she's a scientist. Science. Science. Science, bro. Yeah, she seems real sharp, bro. I'm just saying, like... Well, again, if she's with freaking our dude, I would expect nothing less. They they do. They are very fitting. I mean, they just... They look it. They're adorable. They are adorable. Yeah, and we're going to have them in tequila and beers and good conversation. You got some left? Oh, yeah, fuck you, dude, I don't, I don't drink that without... Like, dude, I, I save that shit for our people. You had a pretty big belt last time I was over. That's all I'm saying. Like, oh, fuck yeah, I did. I wasn't driving. That's right. I poured my own troubles and I enjoyed that shit. I think I even topped it off. I don't think there was any troubles in that glass that I saw, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I had no problem with it going down. That's for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, that shit poured easy. Tequila Mockingbird. I'm just saying. Yo, for for Reese, that's we want to call be, him Tequila Mockingbird. That's got to be his new name. But I was like, yo, that would be a dope trivia name. Should throw that his way. Well, after we do it on air, we should use that trivia name tomorrow night or Thursday. Tequila mocking. Dude, my, I'm to this day. I still one of my like. All right, so I have so far. I have like three favorites that I've really enjoyed just because they're like the one is cute. It's Quizly Bears. Crafty. It's just Quizly Bears. Oh, that's adorable. It's like Grizzly Bears oh. with Quiz. Oh, that's so cute. Um, then I had um the reference to uh, the other guys. It was Dirty Mike and the Boys, <laughs> which was like the hobos that fucked in yeah. uh, Will Ferrell's Prius, and they it like left him the note. And he's like, "Yeah, thanks for the F shack, Dirty Mike and the Boys." <laughs> That's a great group name. I do. I know. I was just, <laughs> before I even said it, and I was just like, "And by the way, whoever this team is, I appreciate you so much, Dirty Mike and the Boys." And they were just yeah. like. Yeah. I was just like, I appreciate all of you so hard right now. You have no idea. By the way, thanks for the F shack. And they were like, yeah, I was hilarious. But then the, uh, yeah, the other one is, um, Triceratops looking for Tricera bottoms. <laughs> I was like, oh, now that's adorable. That shit was hilarious and clever. It was punny. So we're going to close on that, huh? Fuck yeah, dude. Tricera Bottoms. That shit, that sells all day, son. Yes, I want some of this hot fire. Word? <laughs> yeah, that too. I told you, if you put a question mark on there, <laughs> whatever you write on the teleprompter, he will read. Can Gemini? <laughs> dude, you, I seriously, I went back and re-listened. You seriously questioned yourself on it. It's not a joke. That uh, was, that was a, you literally questioned your own name. Well, changing the topic again. This has been a great green room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd say great. <laughs> but I do like that we're doing this as like background. Like you got to know, man. You got to be in on it. You got to be aware. You got to come to YouTube just to get this. The only place. Otherwise, if you're hearing That's this, true. I'm like, dude, if you're catching like the Spotify or the Anchor or, <laughs> you know, freaking Apple or any of that, you're only getting, I'm telling you, you're, you're not, not getting, getting this. This is the warm up. Dude, this is the behind the scenes, man. This is this is the deep look into the depravity that is us. You are welcome. Tequila Mockingbird. <laughs>
That's who. And beers. And beers. Beers. America. All right. Take us out, number two. Uh, Mr. Gemini. Billy D. Clickety clack a fact checker, Miss JD. In the house. And as always. Which I was expecting to get more conversation out of her, but because like right now you're in you're in house well, guest. We're not even at the real show, so we gotta take a quick break and get back to the show show. Quick. All yeah, right, cool. Let's go. You know how it is. But yeah, no, hit us up. ITY. At directionsandmusic.org. Or GM. I and I at directionsandmusic.org or PHI double L Y D at directionsandmusic.org. But yeah, uh, as always, fam, uh, be good to yourself, be good to everyone else. Much love. Peace. Peace. Peace.